there, it's Claire Newcomb back with you again today. I just want to talk you through a quick Christmas card that I fancy making today. I'll be using the Creative Expression stamp sets, of course. Um, I'll be using Lisa Horton's Gnomes. I haven't used them yet and I've been dying to play with them. So I'll be taking this set and I want to create a, a Scandinavian feel card. I'm really loving that style this year. And I think the these designs by John Lockwood are just perfect for that because you can get the layering feel from these and you can see there that they're they're linear stamps so you can just line them up and create whichever pattern that you like. I'm also going to be using some pixie powders to create the background. And first of all I'm gonna take some watercolour paper. Now, I think you can do this on any paper, particularly the Creative Expressions Foundation card, um, but I wanted this to not curl too much, So, and it's a nice weight of card to stamp on as well. So I'm just going to take some of the pixie powders, I'm using the teal wash because I want a nice blue background. Now they're a very fine powder with um, mica pigment in them, so they come out with a stunning colour. I just want a pattern at the bottom half of the background here, so I, all I'm going to do is just shake the, the powder along the bottom here. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this, just shake it gently or you can tap, tap the bottom of the bottle. Whatever you do, you don't need to be too heavy handed with it because it does come out and the, the colour that it gives is quite intense. So you can see there I've just <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> spread powder at the bottom of the card and a little bit up the top there. <laughs> what I then do is take a, a mini mister, just water, and because I say I just want the colour on the bottom of this card, I'm just going to spray the bottom of the card here. You can see that the pigment just comes to life. And I'm going to direct it up a little bit. I, I want to keep the top half sort of quite clear and white. And all I'm just going to do is just, while the water's wet, just, just move it about a little bit so I can get a nice coverage on the paper. Now you can take your heat gun to dry this off. It does dull the colour just slightly but it, it depends on the, the finish that you want. Um, if you can then I would say um, just allow it to dry naturally. It doesn't take too long, let's say it's water based um, and obviously it depends on how much water that you actually spray on the card there. So you can see that the mic, as the water dries the mica actually comes up up to the surface and you can start seeing the shine and the glisten on there and that just gets more and more as the pigment dries, as the water dries off. Now if you think that that is too too heavy a colour for you or too much then you can just dab off a little bit of the colour there and that can obviously help in the drying. There we are, it just gives a slightly subtler background there. Still with all the lovely mica sheen that's on there. Right, I'm going to put this one to one side because I've actually got one that I prepared earlier. So, this is what I've done earlier and this is all dried and it's ready for me to stamp on to now. Let's say, I'm going to choose a selection of these linear stamps by John Lockwood. They're called the Christmas Borders and Flourishes set. And I'm just going to take my clear stamping block. And I think to start with I'll start off with the solid holly leaves. So as with all, all the clear stamps, it's probably best if you put them face down or stamp inside down onto your glass mat and then you pick them up with your acrylic block. This way that they actually keep the form and you know it won't be distorted. 
So I'm going to use um, a grey ink, the Hickory Smoke Distress ink, to stamp the background. You can choose whichever colour you like, obviously black would make it more darker in the background, but I don't want this to be too bold in the back, I just want it to be a nice subtle background. So I'm just going to stamp there and re-ink as I go along. And we can just pattern match and just move the stamp across so we get stamping all the way evenly across the page there. So I think I'll do two lines with this. Go across. Now I shall change change the design, go for a solid holly leaf, we ink the stamp, stamp across the page, again I think I'll do two lines of this. You can see there now that we're building up a pattern. It sort of reminds me of um, a style of jumper, a, a knitted jumper, which have the solid patterns across, the linear patterns. I think it's just a really nice design for Christmas. Right now I'm going to take some of the words. We have Deck the Halls with Bows of Holly. The Holly and the Ivy, Merry Christmas. Oh, and Season's Greetings as well. I think I'll take the Merry Christmas stamp. It's actually a nice little stamp, so it should actually go all the way across the page in one stamping. Make sure the words are straight. We can ink the stamp. Now I'm taking the stamp to the ink pad this time because the Distress inks have got a solid felt ink pad um, it actually inks the stamp quite well if you do it that way. Normally I would say take the ink pad to the stamp but I think we can get away with it for this. There we are, then we have the Merry Christmas. I think I'll follow that with some more of the holly leaves. You can see that once the, the pixie powders are dried, you can stamp over them and get a perfect image. And you can use uh, all sorts of different types of ink. Say so I'm using Distress Ink today, but the Color Cloud ink works perfectly over them too to get a nice tonal effect. And I think I'll finish off with the Christmas words on the top again. And we can go straight across there. It's a nice way to add a subtle greeting onto your card as well if you don't want it if you just want it to blend into the background so there we are you can see that now I said I was going to use Lisa Horton's gnomes these have been so popular these gnomes and they're such good fun designed with in a Christmassy theme, but obviously they, they can be used at any time of year. I've gone for this chap here and I've already stamped him and coloured him in. As you can see here, I've stamped in and watercoloured him this time because I, I just want I just like that effect. And I think it just adds a nice subtle subtle piece of bit of colour.
Now I've already put the foam pads on the back of him so I'm going to have him as if he's sitting on top of this. It could be a wall I guess. So I shall just put him there. Now I've stamped a couple of the, the toadstools as well. I think they're just lovely. This larger one I'm just going to glue flat and put that there and then this little toadstool I've already got the foam pads on and I shall just sit that over the top. Now Lisa's put some Christmas greetings on her stamp set, so I'm going to choose one of those. I should take Sending Christmas Cheer. And I'm going to stamp that onto a piece of Aqua Foundation card, and I will use black for this one. These stamps give a really, really good impression. They come out so clear. I've used a black first VersaFine ink pad. And it stamps a nice true black each time. wait for that to dry. Now what I'm just going to do, I'm just going to freehand cut these out because I quite like the idea of the text being um, like a newspaper type. So if we just, just hand cut these and we separate the words and we trim them quite close to the, to the text. It just allows us to rearrange on the on the card the way that we like them. It just gives that that modern edge, I think. So we'll just trim these. And it means you don't have to be too precise in your cutting either this way. So, sending Christmas cheer. We can't fit that all. Oh, my fingers, I can't pick that up. I wonder if we can perhaps put that there. Rearrange that. Yeah, I think we like that. So, all I should do is just glue them directly to the to the card there. cut my mats and layers to make the card up so we've got a bit of um what kind of remove the colour of that now so map that onto like a turquoise background and we'll put that onto card blank that I've made out of Aqua Aqua foundation card. There we are, these colours are beautiful. Let's just find out Yes that darker layer that I layered that onto that was a cornflower blue. 
foundation card, which goes lovely with the um, pixie powders there. The pixie powder was teal wash. Now to finish that off, I think I'm going to take a black fine liner pen and I'm just going to doodle a black line around the outside. Just freehand, it doesn't matter if the line is bobbly. It draws over the pixie powders, no problem. that hand drawn frame. There we are, a Scandinavian inspired Christmas card with Lisa Horton's stamps and John Lockwood stamps in the background using pixie powders. Thanks for joining me today, I hope to see you again soon.